Hello everyone and welcome to this demo of Open Air Interface running into R2 Lab. So uh, the resources that we're going to use for this demo essentially are four nodes uh, taken out of the whole bunch that we have. Two of them are going to run the infrastructure and they are regular nodes, uh, node uh, 23 and 16. And then we're going to use two nodes that are equipped with a USRP. And these nodes will be used for uh, eNode B on the one hand and the scramble. And in addition to that, we have a, a commercial phone, which is a regular Nexus 6, which is controlled through a dedicated Mac. A uh, very brief outline is we're going to see how to do the reservation on the testbed, which again is reserved as a whole uh, to avoid interferences between the different experiments. Then we're going to provision the LTE infrastructure, connect the phone, create a Skype session, and then use the scrambler. Just a note on the audio that comes out of the Skype session, it's going to be very low. It's just because it ended up in my headphones and so it didn't make it to the video recording software. Please feel free to contact us at this address if you need any information or want uh, registration credentials or get started or anything. So with no further ado, let's go to the reservation. So we start with a simple regular web browser that we point at our to lab website. You essentially, of course, need to sign in. And in this page, you will see the status of the, the platform. You will see that some nodes are still up it's probably because the previous experiment forgot to turn them off so i'm just going to click here to get a reservation now i'm i'm good to go and i will uh, be able to use a terminal to connect to the testbed and start playing with my nodes so the first thing i'm going to do is to uh, turn off the nodes that are that are still still on and you will see this reflected in, in the website pretty uh, soon. And from that point, I can upload to the nodes the images that I need. So as I said, for nodes 23 and 16, I'm going to, to need this image, which is uh, dedicated to the infrastructure of the OAI part. And then if I use on a separate window, um, another session I can load at the same time on the two other nodes which are 19 and, and 11 the image that is dedicated to okay so fortunately I know them by heart um, so this is going to take a few minutes uh, of course, what I wanted to show is the easiness of the tools that we provide you for dealing with the nodes. And of course, you have the ability to script everything. And in particular, we have a tool called NePy that is uh, part of the supported tools for creating experiments uh, on our 2 lab But in this particular demo, I'm just going to use uh, interactive shells because it's more uh, easy to follow. All right, so I have removed the uh, uploading time, but you can see it's in the order of two to three minutes to get the nodes ready to... Uh, so uh, they're actually coming up right now. And uh, in a minute, I'm going to show how we can control these nodes to deploy the uh, open air interface infrastructure. All right, so now that the nodes are up, uh, I'm going to show you how to, for example, start the HSS part. So for this, I just need to log in to the node of that number. And I have some convenience tools that let me define the role that this no node is going to play. Um, I need to specify the other node that I'm going to talk to, which is in this case the gateway. And then I can do stuff like this. I'm just preparing everything, initializing interfaces, uh, this kind of stuff. And then we have other easy comments to build the software, configure the software, and essentially get everything ready so that we just need to uh, start the services afterwards. All right, so now that we have this infrastructure in place, we have the um, HSS running here, we have the uh, EPC running here, and I'm going to use the other windows here to first start the eNode B, then control the phone from the Macintosh, and then 
at the end of the demo send some scrambling signal to terminate the call. So for now we are going to start the uh, soft modem and this is going to show me a graphical view of the radio signal uh, which is here. So I'm just going to get rid of these two things. All right, so now that the phone is uh, reachable, I'm going to monitor it to to actually turn it on and then we will place a Skype call from the phone. So when I turn it on, you can see that it is actually getting a 4G connection, which is a very good sign. And uh, now I can use the terminal emulator, the, the remote control to actually place a call to myself. So I'm expecting a call to show up on my own laptop. And uh, let me just try to figure out the button. And we have Thierry over there who is uh, willing to give us a tour of the test bed. Hi Thierry. So how is it going down there? Ah, good here. Fine. Uh, let me switch the, the cameras so that you can see the laptop. Okay. Control, uh, the okay, so this is where the phone used to be connected. And then I can disconnect the USB cable. Yes, of course, if you want to walk around, right? Okay, so these are the, the materials that we use to avoid uh, echoes. And then you can see all the nodes. We also have a pillar that you, can sh you have seen on the map and all the various nodes. Um, maybe you can, you can take a look at the door to see uh, what the door looks like. It's also a very shielded, very sophisticated piece of hardware. And now I'm going to use the scrambling uh, node to send, first of all, a slight signal to de deteriorate the quality a little bit. So we, can s we, we start seeing jitters. So th these are the USRPs that are connected to the two nodes that are involved in the demo and that actually do radio uh, s uh, signaling and, and stuff like this. And now I'm going to send a uh, much harder scrambling and then we are going to lose it. Well, we actually lost it before that, so I need to fine tune my uh, settings here. And this is the end of uh, our demo for today. Thank you.